Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video we're going to show you how to uh, remove and put back in a door lock actuator, driver's side front on this 2004 Trailblazer. Same as any 02 to 09 Trailblazer, Envoy, Bravada, Rainier, uh, Saab 97X as well as a Zuzu Ascender. Tools you'll need are small and a medium flat blade screwdriver, 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet and extension, a T10 Torx driver, and a T30 Torx bit with a ratchet. Start with a regular screwdriver, put it up under, quick little pry, okay, same thing here. Okay, pry that up. You can see it just has kind of two clips front and back. Okay, and then you want to Turn it over here and you want to unplug all these harnesses. They basically just have little thumb tabs. Pull them up. Okay, skip that one. This one pulls out fairly easy. Uh, use your screwdriver, just pry that up a little bit and work that off. And then over here, screwdriver on this tab. Pry it up a little bit. Work it right out. This comes out. Okay, now around your door handle here, you're going to see some little uh, tabs or little slots. You can insert a small screwdriver, push down with your screwdriver, and then pull out with your hand, work your hand underneath, another tab right back here, push down, pull out, and then there's a couple up top, okay, those ones you push up, okay, one more right here, okay, this whole thing comes out. And if you have the memory seat and everything, you can now just pull this whole harness right up and out. Now there are two 10 millimeter bolts. One there, and then one way down in there. 10 millimeter socket with an extension and ratchet. This one's really easy to get to. Start it. Just put as much as I can. Okay, I just felt it fall, which is okay. okay. Once you have those out, then you can start up here with your hand. Just work it underneath this triangle, pull out, and then just kind of work your hand under the door panel, and it'll get harder and harder to slide under. And you just pull. Okay, keep working your hand under. Pull, work your hand under, pull. Okay, actually, here's my bolt from that armrest. Can okay, we work our hand under? Pull out. Okay, and your door panel comes off. So, your inside door handle, there's a 10 millimeter bolt right here. That. So, it forward and it comes out. Now in behind here there's little clips. You pull the clip off the rod, then push the rod up. Another one down here. Pull the clip off, push the rod up. And you'll want to pull them out of these clips here. Okay, now inside. You're going to want to disconnect this lock rod here, there's a blue clip, push up on the clip, okay, then pull that rod out. Now down here you have this clip on here, 
you just pull that clip off and this rod comes out. T30 Torx bit. And you need this file that you can put a um, ratchet handle on. And remove these three T30 Torx bolts here. And we'll just speed this up uh, as I remove those three bolts. First you want to remove uh, this strap here, so basically you can, I've got a T10 Torx driver is what I'm using, you can kind of pry one side up and then take it off, okay and then there's T10 Torx screws. And we'll speed it up here as I remove those th three screws. Okay, and you'll want to pull this rod, which you'll have to kind of twist it, and then pull it out. Okay, and then this comes out of this arm, down and out. Okay, and then your actuator comes off like that. Uh, this actuator is in fine shape, so I'm just going to put it back together. You want to put, this has a little, uh, I think it's kind of shoe, but you kind of put the top in, okay, and then twist the actuator down. Okay, and now you have to get the gears right here to mesh, and you can do that, okay. And you can just put this in, clip it into place. Okay, and again I'll use the fast forward button as we just uh, uh, kind of hand thread those three uh, bolts in or screws in and then tighten them up nice and snug. This strap, it's easiest if you put this side on first. And then you just kind of push it right down. And then this rod goes in side that has this um, little groove cut in it just snaps right in there. Okay so you have your assembly you want to put these two rods right up in through here and then have them come out this hole here okay and now you want to connect all these green goes on top gray here and blue on the bottom. Put this rod on the inside of the furnace here. Put your assembly in. Push it over to the side just a little bit. Okay. Now grab one of your Allen screws. Just make sure your handle rod doesn't get in the way. Make sure it's hanging down free. Okay. Start. Oops. Push it up in place so you can see your latch here. Start one of your screws. We'll speed it up here as I just start those other two uh, Torx screws. Put these into place. And we can tighten these up. 
And you want to tighten those up nice and firm. They don't have to be extremely tight, but they should be uh, good and firm. Okay, so you're going to want to take your lock rod, make sure it's on the outside of this rod. I don't know if you can see me moving that right through here. Okay, then put it in and put that clip on. Okay. right in here put our handle rod in and lock that clip on and now we can put our water shield back up in place one thing you want to make sure is this hole right here is nice and clear reinstallation just a reverse push the rod over on, pull the rod over, push it down, flip it on, okay. push the handle in, slide it back, 10 millimeter bolt, And now I'm going to fast forward here through putting the door panel back on, uh, just in the interest of keeping the video a little bit on the short side. Um, once you get it off, it's pretty easy to get back on. Uh, if you do want to see this in real speed or regular speed, just check out our other videos for the Trailblazer uh, front door panel um, remove and replace. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.